We have all the appearances of a Korean peninsula preparing for nuclear war, with North Korea releasing a bold statement as large-scale joint military drills involving South Korea and the US go on. North Korea has responded to those exercises with some of its own, clearly threatening South Korea with a nuclear attack. Having launched a short-range ballistic missile Sunday, its fourth test in around a week, the North announced Monday that it was part of two-day drills simulating a nuclear counterattack. The missile, very much capable of striking targets in the South, was apparently tipped with a mock nuclear warhead, and its test reportedly verified the North's nuclear explosion control system and warhead detonator. North Korean state media released images of leader Kim Jong-un overseeing all this alongside his daughter and potential successor Jue as they made their way through misty, forested areas to make sure the North is capable of defending itself. It's worth noting that here in South Korea, the Allies were also carrying out a drill Sunday involving a nuclear-capable B-1B bomber redeployed by the US. For leader Kim, the enemy's maneuvers call for urgent action, particularly the exponential expansion of North Korea's nuclear war deterrence, according to quotes provided by state media. Naturally, this raises the prospect of further provocations, particularly as those Allied drills are set to run through Thursday. On Monday, the South's military said it was conducting high-tech drills with the US with increased intensity and realism perhaps reflecting the reality of the threat from the North. But speaking of technology and the North's threat, we're still unsure of where the country stands. It hasn't conducted a nuclear test since 2017, while its intercontinental ballistic missile tests, including the latest one last Thursday, have been fired at a lofted angle and therefore haven't demonstrated that North Korea has the capability to strike a long-range target like the US with an ICBM. Speculation over the North's state media coverage of its most recent ICBM launch reflects how little we know. For instance, we can see several round objects connected to tubes adjacent to the missile. They're reminiscent of the circular nuclear warhead North Korea unveiled after its fourth nuclear test in 2016, but experts don't think these round objects are warheads. They might be more likely fuel-related equipment, possibly fuel ampules to shorten launch preparation time. Yet, putting together all of the North's images and statements, we can say it's determined to enhance its weapon capabilities and convince Seoul and Washington it's ready to fight.